What's up, guys? This is Brian J's Nerd Talk, and this is my short review. It's not a long review of uh, the meta. Uh, the final Incal. It's the final Incal. This is my review of the final Incal, the final story of the Incal. What a journey. This is incredible. Um, I recommend the Reading Water. You could read however you want. Not really, but you could start with before the Incal and then read the Incal and then final Incal. What I did is I read the Incal, then I read before the Incal, and then I read final Incal. And it's great because, you know, at the end of the Incal, John has to start over and remember, you know, Orn, who is the god of the universe, told him that this has happened many, many times. There's been thousands of universes, reincarnations, and he sent him to the past for him to remember, to reach true enlightenment, to save the universe. And uh, spoiler alert, he did that in the final Incal. He and his love named Luz uh, fall in love. They become one with the universe, with the Incal, and they got to cure this virus on the planet. Uh called Terra 2014, which is like planet Earth, but very different and far in the future and really screwed up. But they cure it all. And the end of the story ends exactly the way Alejandro Jodorowsky's Dune was supposed to end. It was supposed to end exactly like this, where the Messiah, the Holy Messiah, was supposed to be the, the savior and cure all of humanity all through the universe, make Arrakis a living planet and cure everything in the universe and everyone basically becomes Paul. We're all the Messiah. Uh, that's kind of how the final Incal ended where um, John DeFool and Luz um, fall in love, they become one and their love is curing the planet and then their love will through the Incal will take them all throughout the universe and cure all the universe, the virus, everything and save all of humanity and it's like everybody is being saved by this love. This love is purifying everything and everybody uh, through the Incal. So it's like everybody, I mean, not everybody is them, but it's like everybody is saved by them. And we're all a part of the universe and they're the universe. And they're like the new gods, basically, like a higher power. It's such a beautiful ending. It's so wonderful. It's very romantic. And Alejandro Jodorowsky is such a romantic he has such a wonderful view on people and humanity and what we're fully capable of spiritually in a spiritual uh, way that we can really enlighten ourselves and be better versions of ourselves and not focus on the physical and the material and to actually achieve a higher plane of spirituality. It's just really, really great. It's really, really um, inspiring and very hopeful and very wonderful. The final Incal is amazing. I give it a 10 out of 10. I think the whole saga is a 10 out of 10. It's a masterpiece. This is some of the greatest, most uh, innovative, most unique and original comic books and graphic novels I've ever read in my life. And um, I don't know if they're the greatest. I still got more to read, but The Incal is my number one graphic novel. Watchmen is up there. From Hell is up there. V for Vendetta. And the rest of the Incal, before the Incal, and final Incal, the whole thing from Yodorowsky is just extraordinary. With beautiful artwork and storytelling. Some of the dialogue is not great, but that's not Yodorowsky's strong suit. He's never been focused on dialogue. He's all about visuals, visual storytelling, aesthetics. The whole nine yards. This was great. The final Incal is amazing. It's a masterpiece. And I give it a 10 out of 10. And this is my review of the final Incal. This is Brian J's Nerd Talk. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace. Have a good night.